Hey Cougar fans, Parker Kelly here with the Cougar Sports Network, bringing you another edition of CUC Football Weekly. I'm once again joined by head football coach Andy Lambert. Coach, how are we doing on this Friday morning? Fantastic. Yeah, beautiful Chicago September days, right? 70, Absolutely. what's it been like 70 the whole week cooler. pretty much? Yeah, yeah. yeah a little yeah, bit nice. cooler. Yeah, the yeah. weekend's finally upon us. Yeah. So the Cougars traveled to Oberlin College mm-hmm. last Saturday. And the second half comeback ultimately fell short. Mm -hmm. Troy Prattley, another solid performance at quarterback, 17 to 24 for 190 yards, four touchdowns. Those four touchdowns are career high for him. How would you say he's done leading the charge of the offense in his junior season? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, we talked about him a little bit maybe the first week, you know, and just having the two the two returning quarterbacks who had 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 fantastic camps, you know. Um, So, and, and you've seen Troy's transition I mean I think he's his passer rating or his pass efficiency is like over 160 um, so he's put together two really good games and we, we uh, actually met with him yesterday just kind of as a check-in you know a formal sort of meeting we talked a lot about his improvement you know and just uh, not coming from a throwing offense in high school and then um, you know he gets that, a labral tear Late in his freshman year, he's, he's coming off of that surgery last year. So, um, you know, he obviously has put in a lot of work to get himself in a spot to, to throw the ball like he has. Um, so that's the first. And, 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 and then, you know, just being, uh, you know, who he is, just a, a quality guy. He's, um, you know, super achieving in the classroom. And uh, so, yeah, it's just been, it's been a pleasure to, to see him kind of, uh, move into that role this year. Yeah, he's definitely put in a lot of work coming back from a shoulder surgery. Yeah. Not easy. I yeah. um, also wanted to give a shout out to Devin Bledsoe, mm-hmm. two receiving touchdowns, yeah. the first receiving touchdowns of his career. The Cougars, as you and I both know, are on the bye right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, no games this week. So how has practice kind of looked like? What's mm-hmm. what's kind of the outline been as the Cougars prepare for conference play coming up soon? Yeah, well, um, you know, we were just talking about the, the bye week you know, before we went on air here. And so the last two years, it's been late. And so we've only had two games left in the season. So that's a little bit different, I think, tactic when you go into that. And so, you know, this year, it it really fell really nicely. I mean, we'll see how we come back and play, you know, in the next couple of weeks. But, um, you know, two non-conferences, try to get a feel for who can play and, who you know, what our personnel is going to be. And then you can really practice that kind of after we – settle in on some of those things so we practiced uh against each other uh ones and ones and our our twos and twos and and uh with with really good pace and rate this week so um you know I had a blast and I think it was I think it was a lot of fun for the the guys we're taking today off uh which is great and and hopefully then some guys will be able to go home and Uh uh catch up on some home cooking Yep, I know, I know a couple yeah. guys are back home already, yeah, yeah. but the Cougars have a big one coming up next Saturday as they travel to Benedictine University. You and I both know a lot about this rivalry, mm-hmm. what it kind of means. Where is the Cougars' mindset heading into NAC regular season play? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't necessarily uh, know. You always hope. If I could uh, know for sure what a 20-year-old college football player's mindset was, uh, that would make my job a lot easier. But, yeah, we, I mean, obviously we – We've got a, a long uh, way to go to be, um, you know, just competitive and relevant in every game we play, you know, down into late in the fourth quarter. And so uh, just, you know, coming back and, and competing, you know, I, I think it's, you know, the, you know, there are different rivalries and, and some, for me, coming in new, I don't have those historical attachments to rivalries. So it really is a situation where we just got to play the next game, you know, as it comes to us. Uh, last year, we you know, played so well against Benedictine, and then we played the opposite the next game, you know, so we're really looking for consistency, you know, I think with our team right now, and, uh, but we, we love the matchup, and we're looking forward to, you know, being able to go play there. It should be exciting. Coach, thank you for coming on today. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your bye week. I sure will. Thank you. And the Cougars will be off this week. No games, but they will be traveling to Benedictine University next Saturday. We'll talk about that a little bit more in the next interview. To check out all things CUC football, make sure to head over to the athletics website at cucougars.com. I'm Parker Kelly signing off. We'll see you next week on CUC Football Weekly. Go Cougars.